Welcome to your snapshot transfer report. Blah! This is the peace dealer. I hope you gain the utmost of quality from this report. Quality sounded like koala. That was hilarious. And you stay blessed as always. Peace. Just joking. Okay, so um, this is quite amazing. It's cancer season. So we're going to do the snapshot transit season from cancer. And we're starting cancer season off with the new moon. Woo, 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 woo. Actually, you just saw the end of it. So let me put it again. We got this new moon cycle, which is important because it's your lunar return. So this is actually very, very profound. It's opposite your sun. Think about the symbolism of a new moon when you were born on a full moon in Cancer. You're directly a part of the charade. And it's almost going to use your own vibration and others like you as a focal point to impact other people coming into six years, months. Six months from now, where you're going to complete the lesson of this chapter, the zero degree Scorpio rising props and come to light of the psychological dynamics that constitute your relationships with others, because people ultimately are you ready? People ultimately are fake as hell. No one really shares what's in their feelings. They're afraid. This is why cancers get killed. Because, like, if you were to really share how you really feel, it's going to hurt someone's feelings. And so, we, you know, we built Libra and Capricorn so we can normalize being fake as hell. And that's no diss to Libra and Capricorn because they're some of the realest. But the way we use the energy is kind of fake. Um, and, and you know this, Nicolette. This is where you see people, you know, have to put on an image. You can't say that. That's not correct. Yes, it's fake. So keep that in mind because you're going to really be seeing over the next few months what people really feel not what the capricorn libra image is you know how a president of a company can't just be like what's up bitches all right today we're gonna fucking get the most money ever they have to represent a company they have to be proper they don't know who's they're speaking to a wide audience today our company is going to increase our expending and you know when they're behind closed doors they might curse but that's that's cancer aries you know who you really really are and then you polish that with libra and cap does that mean libra and cap are fake no but how do we use libra and cap in this lifetime fake as hell and that's really disrespect to Libra and Capricorn because Capricorn is the integrity to be sincere with your feelings and, and really not be afraid what anyone thinks. But, hey, it is what it is. We are going to see that this cycle with cancer is going to end off on the 22nd of July with the new moon in Leo. And we're going to have Mercury direct. We're going to have Venus getting ready to leave Gemini. We're going to have Mars finally in Aries and we're going to have Neptune still retrograde. Um, actually, Neptune's going to go retrograde in a couple of days from now. So we're going to have Neptune, Neptune retrograde by then. And definitely one of the first things I want to highlight is the sextile between Aries and Venus, because this is going to impact your sixth house and your eighth house so as a capricorn sun this cancer season okay as a capricorn sun is going to impact your relationships with other people and this is about bridging the past six months you've worked hard to develop your character so that you can manifest this in more sincerity in your partnerships opening doors taking cardinal action to establish partnerships and open that door which will be another six month chapter the as a Scorpio rising, this is showing you the light of who you're in relationships with. So blending both of this is really just showing you the light of your philosophy and your beliefs. But blending both of this, this is going to ascend the nature and state of your relationships. A lot's going to come to the light. It's going to be mad dramatic, but it's going to clear up a whole lot. And seeing that we have Venus going direct over your Chiron is going to really allow you with Mars entering Aries to take passionate action that aligns your relationships with others with your lifestyle. And this is really going to be testing with the square of Mars and Aries and Cancer what relationships in your life distract you from the work you have to do and what relationships help you move forward. This is going to be very key, especially dura during the whole cancer season transit. Um, if we backtrack a little bit, 
the full moon that we're going to have on oops the full moon we're going to have on the 6th or nope <laughs> the four, the 4th 5th but really the 4th is going to incorporate you know um your sun and moon so it's going to be very powerful mercury retrograding during this period in your ninth is having you reevaluate the philosophy behind how you utilize your psychic power and it's not so much philosophy as much as it is things coming out to light for you to now conclude on your perception of these events and cardinal signs are going to be actions that show you the nature of people's characters and how they really feel but we can't also forget that you have neptune on your sun and cap so this is also going to be uh facilitating greater evolution we also have to keep in mind that chiron is an ooh, chiron is an aries t squaring the crap out of this so by the time mars comes in here there's no libra there's no libra there's no libra in the skies there's no libra in your chart do you know what that means nicolette fuck what other people think I'm going to say this again because you're Scorpio rising. So you're not even really human. Fuck what other people think. You're on the verge of taking a new direction. And it's these independent Aries actions that are going to really challenge and shape how you express yourself. Now, if there was nothing in Aries and it was in Libra, I'd be like, don't be so selfish. You want to compromise. Like, this is the time. To actually care what other people are thinking because they're telling you something relative and actually relevant. But there's nothing there. We're, we're socially distanced. There's nothing in the social science. Everyone is having to really go within. So keep that in mind. You don't want to be so. The reason why this will be a potential for conflict is because with this T-square, it is going to bring other people's opinions unsolicited. And so when that happens, just know that's more of a pressured influence to kind of gear you towards having more faith in your own actions, which if you're not sure, it's okay not to be sure. Neptune is still squaring Venus, and that's what's going to make a bit nebulous the intentions with who you're in relationships with. But all your Sagittarius energy will have you, unlike others, be able to see through these dynamics. And it's very interesting to bring up this Aries energy or, or Gemini energy because Venus going direct is going to oppose all your Sagittarius energy, which will aid this development of how much more intimately you can communicate with people with greater self-esteem and value showing up and, and expressing, you know, your artistic and, and, and uh, magical talents as you have a very magical second house. Um, other than that, we do see that Uranus is very much still opposite your Scorpio and on your North Node. And this is very important because this is anchoring the power of your desire or strength of your desire to have this unconventionally manifested with other people. And it's this cancer season that's going to express the extension of this narrative by being able to feel more confident standing on anything you've decided to really move forward with uh, concerning who you're wanting to connect with and concerning what you're ready to do with who. It's even more fascinating when we bring into account how much you've grown in such a short period of time. And so this is really going to illustrate how you're taking six plus months of self-development and moving forward are very much so ready more than ever to not only incorporate this in your dealings with others, but prepare to wrap up this year and fine tune the eight plus year work Pluto has been doing in your third house to not only transform you, but your attitude and self-esteem about yourself so that you can now build this foundation post 2021 to really be a public figure out in the world, inspiring many and showing others what it is you got. So I hope you enjoyed this snapshot 
transit report a whole lot of how this season will prepare you moving forward will incorporate really not letting your own self hold you back and once again not letting the criticisms your moon and cancer can feel the raw feelings that other people have because see people people have raw internal energies and it's only through the mind that that's filtered so that it's said in a palatable way but that is but 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 you have to look at what's inside that's what's real that's what's actually raw before it gets filtered and like changed in most cases deliberately and you're gonna feel that you're gonna feel right into that because it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be the opposition between what you see in people's body language and like what people really feel so just be very mindful of that because you your first boss battle might actually be you nicolette you might be beginning the process of getting out of your own way and shitting on your own feelings because sometimes you trust what other people say about your own emotions than you as a scorpio rising um especially with pluto and mars here it's okay to be different i mean you have uranus on your mercury so you, you don't even think like a normal human being and that's because you're inexplicably attached to these outer planets you have pluto as an instrument you have the power of neptune so you can ascend and you think like the revolutionary uranus these are all crazy assholes these are all crazy assholes and so that doesn't make you a crazy asshole it just means that you're not meant to march the beat of a, of a drum or you're not meant to really walk that linear path. And this is what Mars and Aries is going to have you begin to forge. It's okay if people get pissed off because you don't do things the way they expect to be done. Those are followers. They will never be leaders. They they cling to ideologies because they can't think for themselves. You have Uranus on Mercury. You're one, you're one of the foremost independent thinkers. You know how to see outside the box. And it's going to be a transit like this that really prepares you to take all this to the next level as you are a very psychically powerful goddess you stay blessed as always and until next time peace